Hey guys, welcome to TPL TV. My name is Princess and you are now in the Princess Lifestyle. Today we are getting into another video and this is going to be one of my faves for sure. If you've been following me long enough, then you know for a fact that I am typically a soft glam kind of girl. I'm not one for the super dramatic cut creases and all of the bright colors, and this is no shade to those that are. That's just not my aesthetic. My aesthetic has always been pretty makeup. It's always been expensive skin and glass skin and a dewy situation, you know? That's just me. That's just who Princess has always been and that's who I'll always be. So naturally, I would be very excited when I see that soft glam is now trending and trendy and it's what all the girls want now. So I'm really, really happy for you guys for getting on board. You're welcome. So today I am going to give genuine, full-blown soft glam on this dork chocolate skin and I'm just gonna give you guys you know my go-to soft glam. Soft glam may be hard or like just a little bit difficult for people who are used to doing more extravagant looks but I'm gonna give you guys the easiest way to get a soft glam situation okay. And if you're hearing a list it's because I have in my Invisalign. Don't come for me I'm just trying to straighten my teeth okay. All right so always with soft glam I start with skin I um the only time I really don't start with skin is when when I'm doing something dramatic when I'm doing like grr, more dramatic type of eye look and I know I'm gonna have a lot of fallout or I know that I'm gonna get primer all down here and stuff like that but every other day every other time I'm doing my makeup I always start with skin so this is gonna be a very Fenty Beauty heavy video because I haven't used Fenty Beauty in so long. But Fenty Beauty just came out with a new mascara called their Full Frontal Mascara and I'm hearing real good things about it so I wanted to try it out. Okay, so first up I'm going to be priming. Fenty Beauty has two different primers. This is their mattifying primer and this is their soft matte primer. I am going to be combining both of these. This mattifying one is going to go in my T-zone area and this soft matte one is going to go everywhere else. And I'm just going to blend that out. And now for the soft silk primer. I always say take your primer in an upwards motion. You guys already know. And now I'm just pressing everything into the skin. And while doing this, I am waking up the skin and plumping it, getting my juices flowing so that everything can be one point and just gorgeous and hydrated and supple, baby. I'm gonna let that soak into the skin for about two minutes and then we'll go into the foundation. So now that the primer has soaked into the skin, I am gonna move on to concealing and correcting. And I am using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 470. So I'm using the shade 470. That is my exact foundation and concealer shade in Fenty Beauty and it's my perfect undertone. So I'm just gonna go into all the areas of my face where I have any hyperpigmentation and scarring, which would be the perimeters of my face, some on my forehead and then around my mouth. Just gonna take the wand and go in vertical motions. Everywhere that I need coverage. And a little of this product goes a very long way, so you don't need too, too much. And I'm gonna take my sponge and just blend everything out. And per usual, I am blending in circular motions. So we are all concealed and corrected. As you can see, concealing and correcting honestly makes the job of the skin so much easier. You really don't even, if you want the full coverage look, then continue with foundation. But if you're good here, you can literally stop. You can just put on some bronzer and go, literally. So concealing and correcting is, it is an absolute necessity. Never skip concealing and correcting because you never know, you might not even need foundation after you're done. 
Just saying. So next up, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. Believe it or not, this is going to be my first time trying this foundation. I've heard the most amazing things about this foundation. So it's sort of going to be like a first impressions review type of situation. But this is the shade. So nasty and so rude. She was so nasty and so rude I that I don't so even, nasty don't ever bring so anybody rude. around me like that. So nasty and, and that's what happened. so rude. <laughs> So nasty and so rude. Anywho, this is the shade 470 in the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. 470 across the board is my shade. It's my undertone. It's my earth thing, okay? So that's what we're going to be using today. Do I need to shake? Yes, I'm a shake. I always shake. Never put on your foundation without shaking well first. Okay, so I'm just going to... Glide this across my face, not using too much. Got some on the back of my hand, and I'm going to apply this with a foundation brush first. And that is gorgeous. Talk about a perfect match. Fenty, you know what you're doing. You guys know what you're doing. I'm gonna go over those areas with my sponge just to make sure the blend is right so that is really really pretty and it feels good it's a feel good type of foundation i can appreciate that honey and i'm just taking whatever excess foundation is on this brush and gliding it downwards so that it can be an even transition from face to neck. This foundation is honestly gorgeous. The way it feels, like it feels like a heavily moisturizing lotion. It feels like, like it's there, but not really. But the coverage is sensational. I think I use about two pumps of foundation in total for my whole face. I just, I love it. I love that it's still full coverage because I just, you guys know, I don't like <laughs> foundations that are not. They have to be at least medium coverage for it to make sense to me. I don't understand why people do BB creams and stuff like that. It's just dumb, in my opinion, because you could always just use less foundation, but whatever. I'm loving the fact that this is the coverage and the coverage is buildable. Like they're not forcing full coverage on you. It's your choice, okay? Because we're pro-choice over here. Now that I'm looking real good, like real good, I'm mad that I have extra foundation, but I'm gonna be able to use that for my highlight, which is what we're getting into right now. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm going in with another Pro Filter Concealer from Fenty Beauty. This is the shade 400. Now this shade is mad light, <laughs> okay? It's real light. I don't fully enjoy using this shade, but the product, the finish, the way this concealer blends is so gorgeous that I'm gonna go ahead and use it and I'm gonna mix it with the excess foundation that I still have left. All right, and this concealer does set relatively quickly, so you might wanna get up on it. Using the same side and sponge that I used for my foundation, I'm gonna blend this out. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that foundation that's still left on the back of my hand and then blend. I just gotta make sure that I'm getting my proper shade, you feel me? If you're new to my channel, then you may not know this, but I always start out with the outsides of my concealer. I always start blending there. Usually, depending upon the concealer and its consistency, I wait a little bit and let the concealer, you know, settle and set just a tad before blending because it helps with coverage. But for this, because this concealer tends to set relatively quickly, I always, 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 always start with the outside corners first. After after placing the concealer down. So as you can see, that's blending out very well. I'm gonna let the inner corners set a little bit more and move on to all the other parts to have concealer on it, but I'm still moving relatively quickly. 
and that is more my shade. So instead of using the shade 400, I would suggest you guys, if you're my complexion or around there, I would suggest you go down probably two shades. One or two shades should be a better match for us because I did just mix this with my foundation, which is 470. So if there's a 420, that's probably it. Okay. I absolutely love how this looks. I love how this has turned out. It's so beautiful and my skin is pretty problematic right now. So for me to be looking like this with all the issues I'm having, I'm here for it. I'm really here for it. Fenty never disappoints, I'll tell you that much. I will tell you that much. I'm gonna get a tad bit more of that concealer just for my eyelids. I wanna have a decent base going. And just taking the little bit, tiny, tiny bit of foundation that I had left and blend, blend, blend. Just wanna mute out those lids completely. And don't worry about getting it on your eyebrow if you do. Doesn't really matter, because we're still gonna be able to put down our brow pencil once we set everything. Now that I'm blinded, <laughs> I can't see Jack. Everything is so blurry because I was smashing my eyeballs <laughs> just to blend everything. I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me let my eyes settle in then I'll be right back, okay? Because I'm feeling real cross-eyed right now. Okay, I can see a little bit more now, <laughs> relatively a lot more. So I'm gonna be going in with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks classics classic these matchsticks have been a huge part of my soft glam journey for my whole life of doing makeup i've always opted for my matchstick in espresso this is their i believe their darkest matchstick or no i think there's a darker one now but I always use this to highlight and contour, but I also have always used this for my eye look. As soon as they dropped these matchsticks, what was it, last year or two years ago, I wanted to get this espresso matchstick and I got it and realized how well it sets and how matte it is. And I said to myself, I should try this on my eyes. And I did and it has been history ever since then. I've been using it on my smoky eyes. I've been using it as lip liner. Um, if you've been with me long enough, then you know that this matchstick has been my my lip liner plenty of different times. I was using it for like a year straight as lip liner because I was too lazy to go and buy one. So these matchsticks are super versatile. If you have not tried them and you don't have them or you do have them but didn't know how to use it, pay attention, okay? Pay attention because I'm about to teach you, okay? I'm about to school you. We about to go to school. Okay, so the way you use these matchsticks are, well first, eye contour in the regular areas. Cheekbones, jawline, forehead, nose. Well, let me do the forehead first. So when I do my nose, I do it a little bit differently. You guys always see me just do this. You guys usually see me do this, but with the matchsticks, I take it all the way through because that creates a cut crease situation for me. And then I get it on the side here, get that diamond tip shape, put a little break, clip the nostrils, line my lips. See what I mean by the versatility of these matchsticks? They're good for everything. And now with my Fenty Beauty foundation brush, this is the 115 foundation. I'm gonna buff all of that out. And you see, it blends out so easily. It didn't even take me a whole minute just now to blend out that other side of my cheeks. That's how good the product is. But one thing that people have complained about about the product is that um, it's too matte, it's too dry, it doesn't blend out. But what you have to do is warm the product up. And I warm up all of my products and the manner in which I warm them up is a little bit unconventional. But I either, <laughs> listen, if you've been on my channel and you've been following me and you've been subscribed to me for long enough, then this will not come as a surprise to you because you know me, I've told you guys this multiple times, so it's not gonna be a shock. Okay, the way I warm up my matchsticks is I either put it in my cleavage and I just let them sit there because obviously I have enough to warm up a nation or I just, you know, put it between my thunder thighs because I have enough of those also to warm up a nation. So that's how I be keeping my matchsticks warm. This ain't no surprise. Y'all better get with it. I'm gonna start selling some time 
with my thunder thighs and my cleavage to warm up people's matchsticks. Those that don't have enough thunder in their thighs or enough clee in their veg to warm up their matchsticks, I'm gonna be selling some time, okay? $50 every 30 seconds. As you can see, everything has blended out to absolute perfection. Please don't ever sleep on these matchsticks. They are one of my favorite products. I think it's one of the best products Fenty Beauty has ever come out with. And Fenty has come out with some pretty amazing things. Okay, I'm looking real brown, real chocolatey, real princessy, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and move it on on. We're gonna set the face now. This shade is Honey, and this is what I'm gonna use for my highlight. And this shade is Coffee, and I'm gonna use this to set some of my contour. So I'm getting it on a fluffy brush. Tapping off excess and just going in. So because this powder is super potent, I will not be baking. I don't have any need to bake. This powder is really amazing. That's why I'm just taking it on this fluffy brush and placing it where it belongs. Okay, you guys see that set? So I did put a little bit of extra powder on these under eye areas just to do a, a slight bake situation, but it's more so just laying on top of the skin as opposed to being pressed in for a bake, which is what I would do with a beauty blender. So we're just carving out some areas, you know? There's a difference. And now we can try coffee. Coffee is pretty dark, so that's why I'm able to use this as a setting contour type of shade. can see that it's a serious contour I'm trying to be chiseled honey and I'm really just using a super small amount a little goes a very long way so I'm just going over every area that was contoured every single area all of them honey now that we have set our highlight we've set our contour I am going to take my all over face powder and I'm just gonna buff everything out. Just a quick buff, just a buffety buff. And this is just gonna be my MAC NW48 pressed powder, is that what it's called? No, it's called Studio Fix. This is my MAC Studio Fix powder in NW48. Oldie but goodie, holy grail, nothing has been able to replace it. Um, thank God that MAC hasn't discontinued it or anything like that because I don't know what I would do. So I'm gonna, just gonna press and then blend. And I always start with my highlighted areas because those tend to be the places where I need to mildly tone down. So I always, always, always start with my highlighted areas. And then I just take a little down my neck like so and voila. If I feel like my contour is a little bit harsh, I just dust this over it quickly, not to really take anything away, but to just settle it, if that makes sense. Okay, now we can bronze. I'm gonna be using my classic, my oldie, but not even oldie, but goodie. I'm gonna be using my Holy Grail bronzer, my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. Is this upside down? It is. Mocha Mommy, um, you guys already know. Mocha Mommy and I, we know each other very well. She and I really bang with each other. She and I are real good friends. And I'm using my Fenty Beauty 195 bronzer brush. And you know, I tapity tap, tap, tap. And then I whoosh, 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 whoosh. You know what I'm saying? Every time I get into Mocha Mommy, like I become, I don't even know. Like I be, I be, I be turning into to princess times two. Be turning into, you know, princess upgraded, princess rebooted. Mocha mommy cannot be replaced. She cannot be replaced. I don't care what the product is, who the brand is. No, there's literally no replacing Mocha Mommy in my life. It's just not possible. This is the one bronzer that just warms my heart. Seriously, warms my heart, warms my soul. And most importantly, warms my face, all right? Brings that warmth that I need and that I want, that I desire. Are we seeing? 
<sighs> are we believing? You see how Mocha Mommy just brought everything together? Like Mocha Mommy just said, okay, all of you come this way. I need you right here. I need you over there. Stay still. Mm hmm. Glue you down. And then voila. Here we are with the Mocha Mommy situation. I did. I did just do that. I did. Mocha Mommy and I just did that. Okay. Let there be no confusion. We just did that. Did it, it's done. Okay, now we can wrap this situation up with our eye look that is super easy, super simple, and quick to do. So I'm gonna crack out one of my favorite palettes. This is Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration palette. This is one palette that you actually truly do need in your life. This is one of the palettes that you can take anywhere and it has every look you can possibly need for every single occasion all in one palette. So we're gonna start here. Okay, the first shade we're gonna go into is this one that's brown, it's called Jinja, and this is gonna be our basic transition shade. And we're just gonna dust and glide, keeping that in the crease in the crease. We don't need much of it. We just wanna make sure that we have an ease of transition and that we have a matte crease. Next up, we're gonna take a tighter looking brush and we're gonna go into the shade Credits, okay? Cause we're trying to get some credits, okay? We're trying to get all the credits, okay? And I'm just gonna place that in the crease. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're lighter skin than me, then credit may not be your go-to shade. But because I am the complexion that I am, I can start off this dark. So I'm just doing this type of motion, semicircle type of shape. And I'm just blending that out like that. Same thing, same shade. We're just carving out that crease, you feel me? And if you have issues figuring out where your crease is, just look upwards like this and you'll see where the bone is. That bone right here, that's your crease. Now I'm gonna take ginger and edges, not too much of edges, mostly ginger, and I'm gonna blend out the harsh edges. Okay, so I did go back in again with credit just to deepen the crease some more. That's just how I like for my soft glam situations to be. But I'm focusing the extra credit mostly on the outer portion of my eye. Once I feel like I've gotten my crease to as deep as I want it to be, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Bronzer, but in the shade Coco Naughty, which is a lighter shade, and I'm gonna place that on my eyelid and further cut the crease. So I'm just gonna use this to define where my eyelid is separated from the crease. So I don't dwell too much on that. I just wanna make sure that I can see it. That's what I'm doing. I'm just cleaning things up. Now I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. And I'm gonna take the shade right here called Demure. And this is like a soft pink type of shade. And that I'm really going to pack because I want that to really stand out. It's like a pack and swipe. Now we're gonna reinforce it back again with credit. Effortless chic, okay? We just cut that crease for dear life, honey. So I'm just gonna take whatever's left from credit, smoke out the lash line. Let's hit a little eyeliner and mascara. I'm gonna do my brows real quick and I'll be back with the finished look. Before we finish, I'm gonna try out Fenty Beauty's newest mascara. This is called their Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. 
They have a flat and fat wand. I don't know if any other company has ever done this, but I've never seen it before. This is what the bottle's looking like. And I heard that this mascara will take you from Beyonce to Beyonce. Oh, hi. Oh, honey, it's working already. I'm, I'm keeping it flat like this so that I can lengthen it. Oh, this is a mascara, mascara, okay. Oh, wow. And I haven't gone back in for a, another coat. Oh yeah, I really like this. It's really giving real definition. You guys see that? And I have on liner too, and the, the, my lashes are still showing up to porty. Yes. Okay, Fenty. You done did a thing. Look, mascara, boom, no mascara. Mascara, boom, no mascara. This is a situation. This is good stuff. Let me finish the look. Wow, what that just did for my natural lashes, I've never, like I have never seen a mascara do that. Okay, I'm mascara up and mascara down. Fancy done did a thing, y'all. They done did a thing, honey. I'm gonna go in with espresso to line my lips. And I'm kind of getting that all over. Doesn't really matter. And the lipstick I'm gonna be using is the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle in the shade Single, which is an accurate description of me. <laughs> this is a super nude, super demure type of look. All right, so that is it. That is the look. I'm gonna do some touch-ups and then we're through. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed look. As you can see, the install is popping. The soft glam situation is popping. If you want to see more soft glam looks from me, let me know. If you wanna see more installation videos from me, let me know and I will hook those up for you guys. This is the look. I love it. This is really up my alley. This is my aesthetic. As you can see, I didn't use any highlight none at all because I feel like I don't need it. My skin is naturally glowing with all of the products that I use from Fenty Beauty. They give a natural glow. And I just feel like this is an everyday look that's highly, highly glam. But one, it doesn't take glam time. And two, it is perfect for every occasion. I feel like no matter where you're going, this look will be appropriate, so. Get your looks in, you guys. The sun is peeking through and shining on me, as it should. And yeah, so this is the final look. I did it in a new location in my household. <laughs> I'm always changing places. But um, yeah, do you guys love or do you guys love? Let me know, I know you do, because I love it too. <gasps> so yeah, I'm done. I love you guys so very much. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not subscribed because you know that you keep watching my videos, so you might as well subscribe. And leave a comment below saying hi, especially to my new subscribers. There are a lot of you, so hello. Hello, hi, and if you've never left me a comment, now's the time. Introduce yourself, say hello, hi, what's your name, where you're from, all of that good stuff. So, I love you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.